Once a star pitcher for the Tucson High Badgers, Tom Wilhelsen was like many others, a former minor leaguer who never made it to the majors. Out of baseball for five years, his talent went unrealized until he was inspired to rechase his dream. Sports director Jason Barr has the unlikely comeback story of Tom Wilhelmsen. Well, it's a great story if you haven't heard about Tom Wilhelmsen's story. Tom Wilhelmsen's unlikely comeback story is one to be told over a beer in Tucson, which is where his story begins. A Diamondbacks fan during the 2001 World Series win, Wilhelmsen was a star pitcher for the Tucson High Badgers who were coached by his father. Known as a free spirit, he signed as a 2002 seventh round draft pick by the Milwaukee Brewers. When I was drafted, it was like, all right, well, this is what I want. So uh, perfect. Thank you. And um, then we started playing ball. The following season, Will Helmson was in Wisconsin pitching for the minor league Beloit Snappers, and he was having a solid season thanks to a mid-90 mile an hour fastball. But he failed two tests for marijuana, and the Milwaukee Brewers suspended him for the 2004 season. Consequences are a little more severe than high school. And then came a curveball. Will Helmson decided to quit baseball for good. I just didn't feel that I was really putting 100% into this craft, and, um, and I was aware of it, so I left. Needing a job, Will Helmson returned to Tucson and looked for work as a bartender here at The Hut, a tiki bar on 4th Avenue, which was run by family friends. We saw Tom when he was at a point where, you know, life was kicking him around a little bit. Now at Finney's Landing, Scott Menke and Doug Finical were needing to improve business as managing partners of The Hut. The only job he had listed on his application, his only employment exper experience was Milwaukee Brewers. And under position, it said pitcher. I popped in one day and said, you know, I've been, I've been bartending a little bit. Will you uh, looking for people? And sure enough, they were. It's something about his personality. He's just, he's so engaging. So instead of pitching fastballs, Will Humson was serving up pitchers of beer. He was also connecting with the Hots customers. I like to meet people, I like culture, and that's something else you get at the bar. You know, the bar really doesn't discriminate, so you get people of all walks coming in. It was a lot of fun. It turned out he was a fantastic bartender. He br brings people up and makes them happy, and, and everyone gets on board and rides the Tom train. The relief pitcher of the bar. <laughs> Come in, make the save. Will Humson spent time traveling and became serious with his now wife. But then one day, five years later, he was watching a major league game involving former minor league competitors. I remember him telling me he was watching an MLB game and smoking a cigarette. You know, he's like, I can tool that guy. You know, what, what, what's going on here? And like took another drag on his cigarette, walked out of the backyard, put it out. And to my knowledge, he hadn't had a cigarette since. You know, I called up my father and asked him to play catch. And that progressed in a long toss and to, uh, you know, four days a week to an open tryout for an independent team. That team was the Tucson Toros. And after fewer than two seasons in the minor leagues, Will Helmson made his major league debut as a Seattle Mariner. A lot of people toil in the minor leagues for a while, but you made it back pretty quickly. Most of these guys spend their career in the minor leagues. Um, so that was something that I was, that, that got in my head in my publicity stunt. Um, how do I deserve this? It happened so quick. Will Helmson spent five seasons and recorded 68 saves with the Mariners. Good. Nate Buckler, have a seat. There's Tom, I mean, you know, just a couple years removed from bartending at this place, and we're watching him on the flat screen in his Mariners jersey and yeah. ripping it up, you know? And, and the same old guy. Will Helmson brought along his good time and was part of a combined no-hitter. Grandpa, this will do it! But after a rough 2016, the Mariners released him. Will Helmson was a free agent and wanted to again come home, this time to pitch. I called my agent. I was like, listen, if ultimately I want to be in Arizona, I want to be a D-back, um, can we try to make this work? He came in as a non-roster invitee and opened our eyes. He did it quickly. Um, he had a great spring training. With his comeback now at full circle, Tom Wilhelmson earned a spot in manager Tori Lovello's bullpen. What's it like to put on this uniform that you grew up watching as a kid? Yeah, it feels really good. Definitely opening day. And, uh, 
sellout crowd, Star Spangled Banner, the Jets flying over. The bartender, Tom Wilhelmson, uh, he's been a great addition to this D-backs relief corps. It's a great story, and it's really a story of perseverance, a story of um, not giving up on your dream, and understanding that uh, sometimes you put things on hold uh, 